Hi, this is Gali Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling at ease because today our quote of the day is, we must accept finite disappointment but never lose infinite hope by Martin Luther King Jr. This quote is very relevant today because disappointment and hardship are all around us, but they are finite. We have to know that they have a beginning and will have an ending if our hope is infinite. Hard times happen to all of us, and the more we take risks, the harder the hard times tend to be on the path to our success in any field of life. If the goal is worthwhile for you, the only difference between someone who succeeds and someone who doesn't succeed is one's ability to navigate the hard times and come out alive enough to let in the good time that will follow uh, and enter your life. I know that at times you will believe that you can never come out of your situation, but I assure you that you can. And when you do, you will have learned the lessons that accompany the hard times and then the success that you reap as a result of the learning of the lessons that you have achieved will be yours to keep. When you have taken risks to be where you are today and then hard times come along, when you have no other choice but to weather it out, you will discover how strong, powerful, and innovative you really are. Being strong during hard times is not enough. You will also see that you will need your imagination. In fact, you will need to use your creative faculties much more than anything else. You will need to use your money wisely and you will need to think outside of the box to get ahead in such times. There is nothing better for creativity than to be cornered in a corner. <laughs> At such times, only your crea creativity can get you out of the mess that you got yourself into. And this is a not a time... Um, to listen to people who do not believe in you because they will only block your path to your creativity and they will also tell you to stop because they themselves could not cope with your situation. But you cannot expect another person to believe in your dreams as much as you do, so don't expect them to. It is you who needs to continue believing in your goals and in yourself and it is you who needs to keep pulling through. So what can you do in such hard times to get through? Well, I've known some challenging times in my life, and there were a few things that helped me keep on going. The first is knowing that everything is always in flux. It, everything is always in constant movement. Nothing ever stays the same, and things are constantly changing, even if we don't believe that things will ever change. This difficulty shall also pass. The darkest hour comes right before the dawn. One moment we may be down, but the next moment we will be up. And then we may be down again. But this is how life goes. When you understand that things are constantly changing around you and you accept this change, then you have more faith that things will turn out for the best. And they usually will if you stick around long enough. You just have to weather the tide, even if it's a really long tide. If you have faith and the reason you entered this situation in the first place is strong and real for you, then when you remind yourself of the reasons that you went into this situation in the first, uh, in the first case, then you will tend to keep moving forward. The reason will be strong enough to keep you moving forward. Hard times do not last forever, but the strength and self-esteem that you gain from the hard times can last you for a lifetime. Secondly, you want to check your viewpoint on your situation. Is it really so bad? Are, things, are there things that are going good for you, even in this very low place? Are there some patches of light? Is there perhaps a light that you can see even faintly at the end of the tunnel? Can you find hope if you weather this hard time out? There is a quote that says that if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Perhaps it is only a matter of perspective that needs to change. Perhaps you can see things in a positive light. Perhaps there is a beneficial side to these hard times that if you really look closely, you can figure it out. It's good at such times to remember what Henry Ford said, that the airplane takes off against the wind and not with it. 
It's the trying times that will eventually lift you up and take you away, far away to the place that you want to go. Thirdly, ask yourself, which creative things can you do that will help you move forward with least harm done? Where can you find funding or produce more money? How can you use what you do to push your ideas forward? And what creative but legal non-destructive ways can you find to pay back your debts? If the hardship is in a relationship, ask yourself if this could perhaps be in your favor. Or do you want to change things? And what can you do to change things? Are there any people who you can consult with who have gone through similar experiences and have come out favorably that you can talk with? Perhaps you can read their books or listen to their talks on YouTube. Be creative and try to think outside the box to come to ideas that can move you forward even through the hard and difficult times. Fourth, you need to take some steps. You need to take action. As hard as it may seem for you to do it during this moment, you must do something and not freeze or go into depression. You must move yourself forward and the steps you need to take do not need to be extreme or major steps. They can even be subtle actions, but you must do something. It's like getting back into the car after being in a car accident. Will you allow yourself never to go back into a car and miss out on all the rewards that driving can bring you? Or will you take the uncomfortable step of getting back into the car and driving again? You cannot lose hope. Do what you can in your current situation and do your very best. And that will be enough, I assure you. And lastly, sometimes there is nothing that you can do. So don't overthink. Instead, just breathe and maintain the faith that things will work out in your favor. But keep your eyes open for opportunities. I'm not saying to close down and go into hibernation. I am saying to go into power saving mode, become more efficient and slow down, but still be aware of what is going on around you. When you release the pressure, sometimes you can see opportunities that were right before you, but you never noticed because of all the stress that you were going through. Taking a break can open you up to intuition that is always available for you, but not always tapped into due to high levels of stress. When connecting to your intuition, it can immensely help you. There are lessons to learn to make you become better. Don't give up, especially not before you can use these lesson, lessons that you've learned. The best days for you are yet to come if you fight this battle and find good solutions for your challenges. I believe that every problem has a solution. Sometimes solutions are more difficult to identify, but you can still find them if you are willing to seek. In the Sermon on the Mount, where Jesus preached to his disciples, he said, Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone who asks, receives, and he who seeks, finds, and to him who knocks, it will be opened. We must first ask in order to get our questions answered. Then we must do the work to seek a solution. To, and then we should physically take some kind of action and do what is necessary to move ourselves forward. We should attempt to find, obtain, and to do by searching or trying to discover means that will help us. We should do our best to try to acquire and gain. We must take action, especially in trying times. Remember that those on the top of the mountain didn't fall there. <laughs> they climbed their way up to the top of the mountain. When you feel that the best choice is to sleep and wake up when all this difficulty is over, it is actually the wrong thing to do. In hard times, you should actually wake up earlier than ever, work harder than ever, and become more focused than any other time in your life. Then you will succeed at not only passing the trying times, but passing them and becoming much more able after them. You may decide to reinvent the path to your dreams, or you may decide to stick with your current path. Whatever you decide to do should come from hard contemplation on your future and the steps that you, you should take towards realizing your goals through the right action for the future. They say that the universe gives the hardest battles to the best soldiers the ones who can win them. And that is you, my dear friend. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answers 
will help move your life to a better place for you. And the questions of the day are, what can I learn today? And with who can I speak to today? And which actions can I take today to move me forward through these trying times? It is time to be creative and think perhaps out of the box for your answers. As usual, I recommend writing these questions in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that they will help ensure that you're moving towards the best version of you and towards your success. Now, the affirmation of the day is, I welcome challenges as opportunities for learning and growth, and I can get through these challenges because I am the best soldier, the one who will win the battle. I welcome challenges as opportunities for learning and growth, and I can get through any challenges because I am the best soldier, the one who will win the battle. Now tell this affirmation to yourself several times, as many times as you remember to do so, because with repetition and affirmation has the power to completely transform your life and help you see things and behave towards things differently. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com, for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining. Thank <laughs> you.